So today we are going to start harvesting the hemp. So the first thing we're doing is having it sampled to send it off to be tested. As soon as that's done, we can start harvesting. So I am going to record a little of our sampler um, who is here. You have to have a certified industrial hemp sampler come and do your samples and then you can send them off. So I will show you what's going on.
Hey guys, I just thought I would come in real quick. We are off to get my roots done and then we're gonna go to the grocery store. I'm gonna go to the grocery store. I don't know if I'll film, probably not. I'll probably film when I get home because I'm gonna make my son's birthday cake this evening and that's what we're gonna have in this vlog too. I'm gonna make that birthday cake because it's gonna be so good, even though I probably won't eat any. I don't know, I might though. I might eat one piece because it's, I've never made it before. I just, I got a recipe off of Pinterest and then I'm adapting it to what I think it should be. What I remember as a child having and thinking at that time, which I'll tell you about tonight when we make the cake. So anyways, we're off to get my hair done and then to Walmart to get the stuff for the birthday cake. Cause I asked him what he wanted and that's what he said. He said, I was talking about it and he said, that sounds good. So that's what we're gonna do. So anyways, I'll check back in later. Okay guys, we're gonna make the birthday cake. So I've got, I already made the cake part because I just wanted to save time. I will tell you how I made it. I actually used a white box cake and I mixed in, I just took the cake and put it in a mixing bowl and I mixed in with a whisk. I whisked in one cup of this thick coconut milk and how much coconut oil? Half a cup of melted coconut oil, three eggs, that's it. A cup, of, a cup of this of the coconut milk, three eggs, and half a cup of coconut oil. And I just whisked it all together. I had greased the pan, and then I put this in the pan, put it in the oven for about 23 minutes. Because the recipe that I, this recipe, which I'm kind of following, but I've modified, um, called for a 16.25 cake mix, and all the ones I found were 15. So it seemed like it was a little thin. So I, because it said 25 to 30 minutes. So I put it on 25 minutes, but I came down here and it had a minute something left and I took it out because it was done. I checked it with the toothpick and it was done. Anyways, I'm going to take the cake out of the pan so that I can use the pan. And I've already taken it out because I, I made it last night. So I just put it back in here so that it would have a lid on it in the refrigerator. Or actually overnight, I didn't put it in the refrigerator. I wanted it to stay moist and everything. So anyways, now we're gonna make the jello part. Let me move my cake out of the way. And these things kind of fold up. So we'll put the cake over here for now and the pan. And I've got my two cups. Of boiling water. I'm going to add a strawberry jello. Mmm, smells very strawberry y. And a pineapple jello to this water. And then I'm gonna stir, stir, stir till I get it all dissolved, which takes a while, but that's why I put it in this clear thing. I know it looks kind of cloudy because it's old, but it was clean and it's really the only clear big measuring cup I have. The rest of them are all plastic. So then you add two cups of that. This is what the coconut milk I used. The same coconut milk that I used for the cake mix, I used a whole can plus what was left of that can and that equaled two cups. So that's what we're gonna add here to this. Actually, I think it was a little more than two cups, but oh well, it'll just be delicious, right? and coconutty. This is going to, I'm, I'm calling this, they called theirs a strawberry colada jello poke cake. Mine, and I'll tell you the story behind this once I get this all stirred up. 
Oh, actually, I'll do it while I'm stirring, huh? Uh, my mom used to make a jello cake. Whenever we go to church things, potlucks and stuff, she always took this jello cake. And basically, she made a cake like this, yellow or white. I can't remember which one. It seemed like it was yellow. And she put it in red jello. I don't know if it was strawberry or cherry, but it was red. And that's what she did. She'd, she'd make the cake, take it out, make the jello, put the cake in, and then cover it with whipped cream. And it was like my favorite, but I don't, I didn't like whipped cream, so I flicked that off. I was pretty young. And um, whenever I would eat the cake, it would only have jello about halfway up. So I would only eat the jello part of it and I loved it, but then I didn't eat the cake part. So what I'm trying to do here is make, cause this, their recipe called for half a box of jello of the, each of the jellos and half as much of the liquids. I want the cake to be completely covered in jello. So I may have too much here, but I'm gonna put half of this in there and then I'm going to pour the rest over the top. And my mom, I don't think she ever poked holes in it. It just soaked into the cake. But I'm gonna poke a few holes in the bottom of it, and then I'm definitely gonna, after I put it in there, poke holes in the, the top. Okay, that should be pretty well stirred. I do see a little bit of the coconut milk still not mixed, like it's separated or something. Anyway, that's fine. So we're gonna take, and I'm gonna use this. They used a fork in theirs, but I don't think I need that many and I want bigger holes. So I'm using this thing and this is just a, um, you know, one of those things you grab like roasts with. I think it came with a cutting board or something that we got. So I'm just gonna make a few holes in the bottom and then going to put it back You wanna make sure your holes kinda of go all the way through. That's another reason I wanted this big guy. Okay, so now I'm gonna put half of this in the pan and the pan is sprayed with coconut spray. And I'm gonna try and do half anyways. Okay, that's about half. So, so now, now that I've made a mess, I'm going to put my cake in it. Hopefully this is gonna go easy, I don't know. I don't remember seeing my mom do this, but it can't be that hard, right? I think I'll use my arm, so I may wanna take those off. Anyways. This is how we're gonna do it because this is just the only way I really can see. Oh, that was easy. All right, so I'm gonna push it down into the jello so that it sucks it all up and then I'm gonna make holes in the top and pour the rest over the top. This is gonna be so good. So now I'm going to pour this over the top. Yeah, it's probably going to be too much, but we shall see. How can you have too much jello, right? I want my jello cake to be all jello. Oh, it looks so good. I don't think it is too much. I think it's fine because it's just going right down into the cake. Just like I want it to. Look at that. All fit. It's like I got a low side on my cake here. I don't care. Cause I'm gonna put a frosting on this. It's gonna be a 
I'm gonna use their frosting. It's a cream cheese whipped cream frosting. Doesn't it sound delicious? With pineapples and strawberries and coconut on top. This is gonna be a pina colada jello cake. Even though I did poke it, it's a pina colada jello cake. And it's gonna be so good. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator so that this can set up. It has to set for at least an hour before we do the frosting, besides the fact that I forgot to take my cream cheese out. So it needs to soften for at least an hour. And then I'll come back and we'll make the toppings and you'll get to see the whole thing. So I'll be back. All right, guys, it's time to start the frosting, which I actually started because I just put the cream cheese in here. You put five ounces of cream cheese in your mixer and then you mix it up till it gets super fluffy so that's where we are i did that part already and now we're going to add let's see uh, then add the powdered sugar vanilla and salt uh, it's a pinch of salt so i'm just going to do a pinch of salt and that is pink himalayan salt all right, so yeah, so the powdered sugar, and it's three quarters of a cup of powdered sugar. And... <laughs> powdered sugar everywhere. And vanilla. It's a teaspoon and a half of vanilla. I have a teaspoon here, so we're gonna do that. And then I'm gonna fill it about half full. Call it good. What else? Salt, vanilla, powdered sugar. And then beat it again. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna turn around here and beat it and I'll be back. Okay, I've blended that. And now it says to, once the mixture looks smooth, turn the mixture on high to beat into firm whipped cream. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'll be back if it works. Okay, guys, it looks like it turned out pretty good, huh? I know, I didn't think it would, but it did. So, I have my cake here, and look at that. Oh, it's going to be good. So yummy. It's all chilled. I'm going to put this on it, and then we're going to garnish it. And this is, like, so light, just like whipped cream. Just like it's supposed to be. I don't know how to do this, but I can fake it, right? Get it to come out. See how if that's enough. so light and airy. It's going to be so good. I think we're going to love it. I'm going to probably love it way too much. I have pineapple rings, which they didn't have pineapple rings on theirs. And I have put them on a paper towel and then put a paper towel on top of them so that there's not too much juice in the, um, you know, going into the air frosting. I think I can get like eight of them on here. Maybe not. Oh yeah, because if I scooted that down a little bit, it'd be fine. I'm, I don't have 12 of them, so I'm not going to try. You might be able to get 12 like four or three times, but I'm only gonna put eight of them because that's what I have. Actually, maybe I will scoot them over and put a half of one in the middle. Cause I think I have enough to do that. Yeah, cause I have two rings left, which one of them I didn't get the juice out of. So I have to do that. I only bought one can, otherwise I would just open another can. But I only bought the one can, so 
I'm just gonna put one right there and one right there. And, but I do think you could get, cause I could scoot these over and then you could get another row of four. So you could get 12. I've got these strawberries that go in the center of each ring. Actually, I think I'm gonna switch them around back and forth. Ah. Like that. And then that one can go that way. That one can go that way. This one can go this way and this way. And this way and this way. And then I'm just gonna put the rest of them on here because I still have some. So we're gonna put these right here like that. And then maybe two here and then two here. And then I have toasted coconut. And all I did was take a handful of coconut and I put it on that toaster oven tray on a piece of foil. And I so put it on toast and watched it. You have to watch it super carefully. And I'm just gonna sprinkle this over the top. Cause I probably, I didn't even measure it. I just put a handful cause I knew I didn't want very much on here. Just the sprinkling. To make it more colada-y. But still very beautiful. All right, I think that's it. That's what I'm gonna call it good. And I'm gonna show it to you and then I'm gonna come back one more time tonight when we cut it and I'll show you a piece of, so you can see what's on the inside. Anyways, that's how it turned out. Isn't it beautiful? It weighs a ton because it has so much jello in it. So I'm gonna put it back in the fridge and I'll be back tonight after we sing happy birthday and show you a piece of cake. Okay guys, I'm cutting the cake. We've had our dinner and we had barbecued ribs. My husband made barbecued ribs. See, there they are right there. And then my son wanted ranch, mashed potatoes, and macaroni and cheese. So we carved out. And that's what we had. Now we're gonna have cake. And it's gonna be so good. This first piece is always the hardest one to get out. Oh man. Well, it broke for one thing. Half of it's still in here. But there's still cake showing with all that jello I put in. See? There's still a layer of cake. It's still going to be delicious. So anyways, I get to eat this part. So I'm going to serve up this cake and I'm going to end this video here. Real quick. Hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe before you leave follow me on twitter facebook and instagram i love you guys i appreciate you guys so much thank you for watching my videos i'll see you in my next video stay cool stay cool